All right, so we're going to be um, using Grasshopper to unroll. But uh, to set up a quick example of what we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to make a box in Rhino. It's going to explode it and delete this part. Um, so when you're unrolling objects in Rhino, it, it'll just unroll them, unroll it however um, it sees its best. But if you want to unroll it in a very specific way, I'm just using uh, Rotate 3D. Say you want to roll this where the, the middle piece stays still and the edges just roll down. So we're going to be using that grasshopper definition to do something similar to this. So I'm going to open up uh, grasshopper. And what I'm going to be looking for is uh, the uh, fab tools. And what I want is there, I think when you open up and you go to utility, there's two types of unroll. Make sure you get to the unroll with, that has the uh, the green icon. And back in Rhino, I'm going to open up or just make a, a similar um, box again. Explode it. Delete the top and then join those pieces back together. And in order to get this <clears throat> this object into Grasshopper, I have to use a B rep. So here if I hover over the um, that the initial input it's asking for a B rep. Set one B rep. And now it's um, the grasshopper command is running, uh, and it's just unrolling. However, again, it just sees fit. But at this point, what I can do is I can use um, the Rhino command unjoin edge, and I can unjoin these four edges. And as soon as I do, it unrolls in a different way. Or if I want to jo unroll these uh, differently again, I can use the command uh, join edge. And I can select, I have to select both edges. And I'll just do this on all the way around. So now that uh, the have all my edges joined back up again, and I can um, unroll this in a different way. So I can make, uh, for example, like make a T. Um, so I'd use um, unjoin, unjoin edge, that edge, that edge, and the bottoms. So I have those, those four. And now it's unjoined those, uh, and it's unrolling in a different way. So I can use this, this uh, unroll command um, so I can start to unroll my objects in a very specific manner. So I can also start to design my objects and unroll them in a very specific way. Um, the other nice thing about this is <clears throat> I can also scale this object so that it's um, very specific for the laser cutter. So if I have my uh, my sheet set up, my 18 by 32 sheet. I can take my original object, scale it down, just so that I can get get it small enough for for the laser cutter. And again, just moving my 18 by 32 sheet. And now I can essentially um, bake this and get the last remaining steps for um, to get this ready for the laser cutter. So, for example, I can come over here to the unroll, uh, the B rep, bake it, Oh, 
I'll just join all these together just to make it easier. I can use the command um, duplicate border. And I can put those on a separate, on the cut layer, for example. And I can use the command duplicate edge. To get those inside pieces, put those on a separate um, on a separate layer. Might just have to change the color of these. Or I think I might have gone backwards. Um, and because I don't know, depending on what I'm folding, I, I, I'm not always necessarily sure which direction this is going to fold in, I could just make that inside line, I could just make it into a dash line. So instead of continuous, make it dashed. And if I don't like the spacing of the dash line, I could always just type in, let's see. set line type scale. Uh, right now it's set at 1, I could do 2. That changes the spacing a little bit. If I type in a larger number, it spaces them even further. I can try 0.5, makes them even smaller. So whichever one you prefer to get the... Um, when, the when this is laser cutting. So for example now this is set up. Uh, if I wanted to do a different um, a different box or a different design, um, I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it. And before I copy it, uh, let me just show you one, uh, one other thing. Uh, another way of doing uh, resetting this is just exploding the entire thing and joining it back together. The only thing is when you do that within um, within Grasshopper, it loses its connection as soon as you explode it. It because because it thinks it's a new a brand new object. So if you do that, you just have to reset it. And as soon as you reset it, you just have to use the unjoin uh, edge command again. And it should uh, fix it. Or I can expand on on this object. For example, if I did that, and I came in and I added a top to this, I'm going to join all these together. I'm going to reset it. Set one B rep. And now again, it's giving me this unrolling it in in one way, but I want it, I want this thing to be unrolled in a very specific way. So I use unjoin edge again. Let's see what the best way is. I'll just select these four or these eight edges. So now it'll unroll this way. And if I go ahead and I, see, I can always scale this. I'll just rotate this 90 degrees, rotate my sheet 90 degrees, and move it just to make sure it's going to fit. I can always just bake it at this point, group it. essentially follow those same steps again to get this ready for the laser cutter.